This push hood has been modified before. The internal fan is removed and an external extractor is installed. Because the external extractor is not very strong, so an internal fan was installed as shown in this video. The model of the hood is DKE 935AGB. The Bush original part, part number 495859, was ordered. The quality of the original part looks very good. It is also very expensive, costing £139 with free delivery. Make sure the mains power is cut off before installing the hood fan. The case of the old hood fan cannot be removed, so I removed the case of the new hood fan instead. Because the internal space is very restricted, the hood fan with impeller on cannot be inserted into the place. So I have to remove the impeller and only install the motor into the fan case. The motor is fitted with three screws as shown by the red arrow. The cable should be in the position as indicated by the yellow arrow. Next step is to put back the impeller. Mind the gap between the case and the impeller. To make sure the impeller runs smoothly without touch other parts. Install the left cover. Next step is to connect the circuit for the hood fan. Caution, make sure the mains power is shut off. This is the diagram that came with the hood fan. It has no written instructions and is not very easy to understand. This is the internal junction box. Here is a circuit diagram worked out from the junction box for the old connections. As shown in the diagram, the external fan is only controlled by the switch 1. This is a new circuit diagram with the new hood fan connected. The hood fan has 5 wires. The green yellow wire is earth. It should be connected to B4. The white wire is neutral. It should be connected to B3. The blue, red and black wires are the control wires for speed 1, 2 and 3 respectively. These should be connected to A5, A6 and A7 respectively. To make position 3 the most powerful gear, I rewired the line of external fan to the A5. Now position 3 has both fan running, with internal fan runs on the top speed. Double check with the circuit diagram after finished the connection. Turn on the mains and check the fan controls. With two fans installed in serial, the hood is significantly more powerful than before. This is how it looks after the hood fan installed. I hope this video is useful to you. Please like, subscribe and share to support me. Thank you.